Hey, what's going on everyone? Captain Waffles here with Captain's Log 0 0 0 0 0 8. Um, we are working on the revival. The revival has been hurt. It's been taken out and almost decimated by enemy pirates. Uh, but that's okay, this episode is going to be a super chill one of us building. Um, I'd like to first thank you guys for all the support in the series. Uh, constantly and consistently crushing. 1,500 likes on each one, which is bigger and better than some of my Minecraft videos. Again, all it does is make me want to upload this more often, uh, because I sure as hell want to play it as much as possible, and I think that you guys enjoy watching it, it makes me happy. Uh, let's get right into it. Uh, it's been a crazy day of, of live streaming. I'm recording this on uh, Wednesday. I live streamed for about four hours and watched a whole bunch of TI3. If you don't know what TI3 is, it is... Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll actually go ahead and start cleaning this up, by the way. Uh, it's the uh, the International which is basically the biggest esports event going on right now um, featuring Dota 2 and it is it is just so much fun to watch uh, I have always been a Dota player so it was a lot of that today and I've finally been able to sit down relax and um, basically just chill out at, at 3 in the morning when it's all said and done and I figured I'd record some Starmade um, and do some do some cleaning up. I'm, I'm, I'm actually I'm contemplating almost getting rid of all of this um, and building an entire new uh, destroyer ship because we've got a lot of money and we got a whole bunch of other resources. And look at this, we have all this hardened hull. So I think the best course of action is really to just like basically restart. Um, and I want to do some talking with you guys on what you think would be the best course of action on how to build this ship and how to build the biggest and most effective juggernaut possible. Um, we fought one pirate at a time last episode. We want to be able to fight four pirate ships at a time because if you guys remember, the, the reason this thing is called Revenge, by the way, if you did not know, is we were able, we, we, we fought against a whole bunch of angry pirates the other day and got absolutely decimated. Um, and there were many, many, many pirates that we were fighting against. I want to be able to feel safe all the time in my revenge ship uh, right here so let's go ahead and restart from scratch um, this is this is what I'm thinking about right now uh, the core we have cockpits now we got a lot of cockpits the core no longer needs to be visible or even close I would love to have a small plex door on a basically a, a main compartment that will allow me to go in and out of, of the core but other than that, when I'm flying, I, I do not want to have my core seen at all. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and do that real quick. We're going to work on the weapons later. Again, having a, an inside area will give us a lot of room to maneuver. So we can place our, our basic hull first and then go do everything else. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, I, I still don't know what these things are and I don't know if I'm ever going to want to use brown or red paint. I might go sell it to get infinite money. Um, but we're going to keep the science bottles and the, the SDR1 memory. And then hopefully by the end of the episode, we're actually going to be able to go out into this into space, try and find the first pirate ship we fought, see if the stuff is still there. Um, because I, I do want that back. Any other hardened stuff that we, necess that we might want in particular. Uh, shield is something else that we're going to need to build uh, specifically into our main hell build. Other than that, I think this is all we got. Let's go ahead and do this. All right, so again, we wanted the, the, the core maybe set in the middle. Um, I think that'll be really cool. Let's enter the ship core, fly a little bit up here, just so we give ourselves some more building room, like that. Cool. Uh, build mode. All right, so let's do this. I'm guessing that we're going to want to do this. Uh, actually, you know what? How big... How big do we want to make this? Hmm. I think like this would be good. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and build our main area that we're going to have, our main battleship area. Don't forget, we don't need to go for for nice, for, for good-looking stuff. We literally just want space. So this will be our walking around area. Uh, this is even too big. And we'll be able to walk around the core 
uh, to our various other computers that will be located around the court, which means this next area, this next block, this next floor that I'm placing down is going to be for computers specifically um, that can be accessed via the main floor here. Um, Plex door is going to be situated in the sides of the ship, both sides, and we are going to finish up the hull here. Oh, we actually, yeah, we got to move out one more. My bad, my bad. They're like this. I figured, uh, usually what, what I think I, I'd like to do is actually uh, skip the building phase, but today we're doing a relaxed, not, not, much, not much behind this, um, chill out building thing. Uh, where we can go ahead and build this. I, I like the way this is coming out though. Let's go ahead and put these black walls up. I think this is going to be an absolute juggernaut of a ship. And I'm excited. I want more than revenge on those pirates. I want to destroy their home, their family, and everything that goes along with them. That's a little bit intense. Sounding like the Reavers. From a fantastic show called Firefly. Uh, if you haven't watched it, go and watch Firefly. It is awesome. Let's finish up the top with some brown hull, giving it that sexy look. Like this. Oh yeah. Now we are looking a little bit like a cube, uh, which I'm not particularly interested in. So what we're going to do is I'm thinking, oh sugar. Uh, because we have a lot of this, oh god, it's just gorgeous um, hull. Let's go ahead and build wings. Oh, that looks so angelic. I love it. Wow. Y'all be jelly. Y'all be jelly. Oh. And then um, this is basically going to have to go up like so to give it kind of like a 3D look, um, which I think looks great so far. By the way, comment section guys, if you have any ideas, uh, I'm just kind of going with it at this point. That's, which, which side looks better? Well, this side doesn't really make much sense. I actually do need to go up one more. Um, but this side seems a little high. Is it? Oh, that's why. Okay, um, you know what, let's, fill it in here like that all right cool cool we are looking good um, so the reason I want to have all of this space here is because we can actually open this part up and have our absolute mammoth power supply so power supply I believe works in these L shaped forms like so and basically what you want to do is you don't want them touching but you want them to be as close together as possible and you guys let me know if, if this is right or wrong because I might be speaking out of my arse here there's a very very high probability of that do your best to you know I'm just going to go ahead and complete it just so it looks good. I don't know if this helps or not. This actually might be a waste. But we're going to go ahead and do this. And that's going to be our power. And within here, we're going to have our shields. So basically, if this place gets taken out, we're in for some serious, serious trouble. We're going to fill this whole place in with shields. Because I, I know you're not supposed to do just a cube of stuff. Uh, so that's what we're refraining from doing. Instead, we are doing uh, this kind of shell with the power and then filling that in with our, our, our actual shield, shield dispensers, um, which are, is pretty awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and finish this up, though. We're going to do a gray for this area. I, I'm talking as if I know what I'm doing. Oh, God. It looks like we are running out. Um, let's go ahead and, and eat some of this up. Just so we can finish up here. 
Oh boy. We are running low on materials already. Uh, we do have a lot of hull left actually, so we're, we're not we're not that bad. Now, the, the the back side of our ship, I'm almost way more okay with it being uh, open, but I still want to protect all this stuff with hardened hull. So we're going to do just that. Like so. And on the back here, we're going to have all of our thrusters. And I have 67 thrusters. Our thrusters will be placed obviously along these wings. Like so. And then all up on here. Just to make this look good. Duh. And we actually should cover this up here, so we're gonna do exactly that with this brown hull. I hope you guys are, are finding this. This is a pretty big build. I actually don't know if we're gonna have the resources to finish it, but this seems this seems relatively complete. I don't know. Looking pretty freaking cool, if you ask me. I like the wings. I think it gives it a nice good look. Uh, let's let's um, go inside and maybe give it a test run. This the front area can could use some could use some work. The front area could use some work. I don't know what we're gonna do with the front area. Um, do we have our cockpit on us though? Please tell me I have co a cockpit. I have cockpits available. Uh, do we not have cockpits available? I'm going to be very sad if there were no cockpits at that shop. I totally thought that I bought some. Oh, I'm so sad right now. Oh, I'm so sad right now. What are we going to do if we don't have a cockpit? All right, fine. We're going to have to do... Uh, the cockpit's for sure right here, and I'm, I'm just not seeing it. All right, well... No cockpit. I'm hurt. That means we are going with plexiglass, guys. Where's my black? Where's my black hoe? Where's my hot and black hoe? Hey, girl. Hey, girl. All right, we're going to place that down. Where's our plexiglass? This is going to be the weirdest thing to fly for quite a while. Until we get our cockpit, this is going to be quite the experience to fly. And that is, that is so off. What are you doing, woof? What are you doing, girl? Four. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, if I remember correctly, and if I've gotten it right, and if I still haven't gotten it right, you guys just tell me, you say no in the comments. I think that antimatter cannons only work when they're in a straight line like so. Like that. That's when they're, that's when they're best. If that's wrong, tell me, and I shall fix it. However, before we do that, we actually, we actually have to put all of our computers down. So let's go ahead and do that. We need our weapons computer, check. We need our SDKP missile computer, check. We need our SDBB missile computer, check. And we need our <laughs> SDBB missile arrays, check. And SD-1000 missile arrays and SDKB missile arrays, as well as the computer for that, which we do not have anywhere. Uh, we also will put this power supply down, even though I'm pretty sure it's useless. Um, or maybe we won't. Actually, you know what? We need lights. Camera action. Let's go up to our plexi storage up above and get our goodness. Because I can't... Well, actually, we can play some stuff first. Let's see, let's see. Okay, weapons computer can go right, 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 right here. And... All the wonderful weapons computers can go right there. Incompatible blocks. Uh, we need to select it to the core. Boom. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're placing the wrong thing, guys. We are placing the wrong goddamn thing. Uh, back to the core. But boom. Uh, weapons computer, back to the core. Uh, check. Now, weapons computer. Oh, is weapons computer selected? Weapons computer. 
Now we can place down our antimatter. Again, we have the green line. We got the green goat. So I think that is going to make for the best weapons. If, again, if I am incorrect, you let me know. I also think they shouldn't be touching. So we're going to go ahead. I mean, I guess we really could do trial and error. <laughs> Ho, I'm out. We apparently do not have enough of these to go around. Awkward. Awkward. Um, how many do I have here? Can I make at least one row? Well, one row is significantly more powerful. One side is significantly more powerful than the other side. Um, as for our actual missiles, let's go ahead and place those down. This is the SDKB. So that would be these missiles. Um, and I believe those work in clumps. I'm very confused. We're just going to go like this because that looks good. And then we're going to put... Like so. Okay. And we are going to now do the SDBB missiles all up. All up in here. One, two, three, four, five. Again, don't know if this is how it's supposed to work. Oh, our doors. Our doors. All right. Well, for the sake of our doors, all this will go. And be added on to here. Oh, I gotta go to our weapons computer. Not the more confusing part of building, but you got to be careful that you're placing the right blocks connected with the right computer, of course. Um, et voila. Okay. So here's our ship. Uh, let's go into fly mode. Super awkward, but wow, it's actually pretty quick. Shoots pretty nice. Rockets are long to load. Lock and load fired uh, none came out interesting and these rockets whoa some came out uh, I don't think we're ready to fight I think we got to get to a shop but uh, I think this is a pretty good uh, a pretty good start to the building of this ship let's go le whoa wait have I flown that far away from my station already whoa let's go try it out on this asteroid on this rock and uh, we'll see how uh, how this turned out all right we're capping at 75 and our rockets are I don't think firing fire rockets what's wrong with our rockets which which ones are which ones are not firing are these guys not connected uh, S, okay. Alright, they're connected. Hmm. Interesting. That looks like the... Not the KB ones. Oh, that is the KB ones. Interesting. Activate SD, maybe because they're being blocked. So let's try this. Let's try that and see how that works. And shoot! Fire! Blank shots. Blank shots fired. No damage done. Interesting. Alright, well, um, let's take a quick pause, and when I get back, I will be at the shop. I'll have some cockpits and maybe figure this thing out, and we'll go ahead and end the episode there. Alright, cool. Be right back. Alright, guys, so we're heading back to the shop to go do some purchasing when I ran into 
this thing and I'm a little nervous uh, I don't know what this is it seems like it's a new update uh, trading guild so I guess we'll figure out what's going on here again a little nervous my missiles don't seem to be working so if we get into a f uh, a fight yeah if we get into a fight who knows uh, 600 meters 500 meters not firing at us looks good any other enemies in the area doesn't seem like it all right hello 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 good sir good traveler I come in peace how does one communicate with such being Okay. Well, it's been a pleasure talking to you. And on behalf of the human race, I bid you farewell. And oh my god. Not interested. Not interested. Let's, you know what? Let's just turn around. And uh, you are going to be the bane of my existence. So I'm going to let you go now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Alright, so second shop attempt. Uh, first one was a no-go. There was no cockpit available. This one, let's see if we are going to get lucky. And there is a cockpit. So we're going to buy a whole bunch of them. Put some back at the base. Uh, as well as some of these. Put some back at the base. I don't know, a bunch of everything. And I'm feeling a lot better. And the last thing we're going to buy before leaving is a whole bunch of more hull. We like the white-hearted hull. Uh, so let's go ahead and buy 94 of that. And we're going to buy 50 of these. And maybe some more black. White and black. Where's our black? In stock, too. Hooray! Um, Alright, let's head back to our station and go ahead and party there. Final, final product. I just spent a little bit of time working on it, and we have ended up with... Dum, da, dum, da, 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 dum. It looks so good. Oh, it looks so angry. Um, I can't wait to build up on it. Uh, you know, give it maybe a little bit more dimension with some some wings coming out here. Maybe a little bit more. Uh, maybe we can just do that right now real quick. Uh, something, like, something like this, maybe. You know, just just playing around with it. Definitely some more. I, I'd like I'd like to see your ideas on how to make this ship look a little bit a little bit better. Uh, we'll take this off for now, uh, just to give it a, a little. It looks a little top heavy right now. We need some we need some cool ideas for the back area, like some back thrusters or or something really interesting. Maybe uh, maybe it comes out into two different you know back areas here, uh, just to give you some ideas like so. How about we just do this real quick? And if you guys if you guys like this, you say keep it. You know, just to give us more maneuverability, we got a lot of have a we got to have a lot of thrusters. So there we go. We got this sort of praying mantis style thing, with a whole bunch of plexidors uh, to keep us nice and safe on the inside. Um, nice, keep us nice, safe, and healthy, and a whole bunch of weapons. So obviously the last thing we need to do before ending this episode is try out the weapons. Um, let's go ahead and do that right now. So cockpit, I believe you do arrow keys. Oh god, it is, it is wonky to drive. Oh, I like this view. Whoa! Those came out really fast. Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god! Oh my god! Hey guys! What? Fancy meeting you here! What do, what do I do with these? I just took a chunk out of this one. I can't fight them all. Okay. Uh, Alright. Um, it's, it's been a pleasure. And I'll, I'll, yeah, uh, okay. Um, maybe I'll fight this one. Yeah, that's right. You, you run away. 
You don't you don't want to trade with me? Why you don't want to trade with me? Looks like we're doing a solid uh, solid amount of damage. All right, well, in case they do turn on me, there's like eight of them, so we'll just get it back away. We're just gonna back away. My God, that scared the keeper jeepers out of me. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, let's go ahead and, and and use our our trusty rock real quick uh, before we actually finish up here. Uh, where's our Where's our nice rock? I am. I must be blind right now. I think it's there it is all right rock trusty old rock maybe I can lock in on you Ooh, locked in and ready to fire Bam! whoa okay that's working a lot better solid 61 damage on each shot and those do a quick quick shot that recharge pretty quickly so it looks like our ship of death also does not lose any power upon using our weapons. I am quite satisfied with the result of this episode. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed a little chill episode. I think that was absolutely necessary. Uh, hopefully a lot more of these in the future. Not everyone can be me fighting pirates or trading guilds for that matter. Um, but either way, I hope you guys did enjoy. I will speak to you guys in the next episode. Again, make sure to leave a like. And if this one crushes the same 1,000 or 1,500 likes, we will continue doing this as soon as possible and uh, keep this thing rocking and rolling. Either way, I'll see you guys around the universe. Take care, and goodbye.